Okay, Murray, uh, how, how does it feel to, to be here in this festival and, and having this tribute to your work? Uh, well, I'm very flattered to the festival and have a tribute to my work. Uh, so many of my films are shown uh, that it's almost embarrassing, but I like it. And uh, I've enjoyed the audiences and the questions from the audiences as well. And uh, I always enjoy the Q&A at my films. So these were nice questions and I, uh, I felt it was a good experience. Mm -hmm. some, some of your films were um, made long ago, but the audience is pretty young. How, 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 how do you feel about that? Well, I like that, but uh, I, I like all ages to like my films, and uh, I'm glad this audience did as well. It's like the performers in my films also are very, the, the audience is too young to have seen them, like Hendrix or The Doors, but they still like them, so I, put, I like the fact that I'm in that category. That's, that maybe it, this means that, that um, the younger generation still find it exciting, even, even though it was um, about uh, other generations. Oh, of course. I mean, why wouldn't they find it exciting? I don't think art dies because the uh, people die. I mean, audiences uh, continue to like it. Um, did, you, did you have time to, to see any more documentaries here? No, I didn't have any time at all, no. Uh -huh. No, I was too tired and uh, I think I probably got food poisoning one day and I w stayed in bed for about 36 hours, so I didn't have time. Okay, uh, do you feel kind of uh, godfather of the genre, of the music documentary film? I don't think of myself that way at all, no, no. I'm still learning, so I'm not the godfather. I think I have a lot to teach people, but I don't think uh, I'm the, uh, I don't think they're imitating me necessarily. They learn some things and not others, so uh, I, I don't feel, uh, I don't, I feel like uh, somewhat like Isaac Stern in the Mount of Mozart film, that I can teach each specific individual, but not I'm not a godfather of a movement. And, uh, I, you know, I, I taught at Yale University for 10 years while still working. And uh, so I'm used to teaching and to uh, explaining to people critically what they were, what's wrong or what's right with their work. But the godfather implies a kind of patron saint. I'm not that, no. Mm -hmm. I don't know who is. Uh, when, when you start, uh, for, for instance, in, in festival, did you feel like a pioneer at that time, doing this kind of film? Actually, yes, I was. I don't know if I felt, I don't know if pioneer is the right word. I think whenever, in all my films, I, I usually come up with something new, and in that sense, it's a pioneer, yeah. But I think of myself as doing what's right for my film. And uh, if it's a pioneer, it's a pioneer because it's a new form of my own expression. And uh, it often creates a lot of argument because people, I just think it's right, but people often can often question it until time passes. Sure. Yeah, so in that sense, I think, I'm, I think I'm usually a pioneer in that sense, but I don't think of myself that way. I just think I'm doing the right thing for my film. Hmm. What, what um, was different in the 60s with all this generation uh, around brother songs and folk music? Uh, what, do you think that there was something that uh, now uh, you can find in, in young people? I don't understand the question. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, the whole uh, movement of the of the folk and brother songs in the 60s that, 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 that you can see on, on festival. Um, do you think that that spirit uh, was something unique or, or that m uh, maybe you don't find in, 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 in young generations now? Well, I think it wa it's two things. It's both unique and you can still find it in a different way. It's like the Occupy Wall Street. It 
the same thing is happening in a different area. And I think it's always going to be there. And I think what started it as a model was the young people of the 60s, not just in America, but also in England. The English took, took a lot of the ideas of the Americans, remade them, and then Americans borrowed those ideas. But there was a big connection between the English in the 60s and the American in the 60s. But yes, uh, I think the spirit is still there, but in very different form. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it, uh, what, what we see in, 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 the, in the documentary about um, the Isle of Wight in, in 1970 is that it's kind of the end of a dream. And wh why do you think was that? Well, because I think uh, people were fooled by the amount of money they could make, really, out of music. So the music business is a word co-opted them, if you know what that means. And, uh, uh, and uh, the kids got angry about that. And I think some of the musicians, musicians responded and some didn't. But uh, it was the end of one dream, uh, but not of all dreams. So I think it, 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 it went on to some extent. But it was definitely showed the clash between the, as I put it, between the commercialism of the, business, of the music business and the idealism of the music. And the idealism of the kids listening to the music, more importantly. There was a, a contradiction there. Do you have more sympathy for, for the kids that were angry about that? Of or? course. Of course I have more sympathy for the kids. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. what, what is the, sec the secret for being at the right place, the right moment, and, and have the chance to, to shoot all these historic moments? I don't know what it is myself. I, I think I, I have a feeling for what's happening and what's going to happen. And I uh, move towards that moment. And it's often proved to be right. You know, but uh, there are many other such moments that I haven't been at, but uh, I've been to moments that were important, like uh, those two festivals. And, you know, Isaac Stern in China was another moment. That was actually a big, mo a big opening uh, in the culture of China. So, but the other part of, of it is, uh, maybe I'm being egotistical, but to be honest, I'm making it that moment. I'm describing it in a way that makes it a moment. Not everyone going to China would describe it that way. Not everyone going to the Isle of Wight would do that. Not everyone going to Newport would do that either. So it's a question of taking what's happening and making something out of it that makes it a historical moment. So you were writing history at the time? Well, I wasn't like writing it. I think I was, yeah. maybe, I don't know if you call it writing. I was, like an, a historian, I mean. Uh, no, I think I was creating, uh, using history to create a, an idea. Mm -hmm. How aware were you at the times, at these times, of the importance of these moments? You know, I don't know. I'll have to ask my mother and I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, from, from, from uh, Mao to Mozart. Uh, you won an Oscar with that film. Yes. Um, how important was was this for you? The Oscar? This, this film, yeah. Oh, well, the film was very important, and the Oscar is important, but it's it's like any other award. It, it comes and goes. I mean, uh, I don't really know how important it was. I think the film is more important than the Oscar. Uh, and uh, people worship these awards. But uh, I don't. It's good publicity, but that's all I think about about it. You know, uh, how people get awards, and I think my film deserved it. <laughs> but mm -hmm. but I don't know a lot of other films. But but that's in the documentary. It's totally different from like Oscars for uh, feature films. Often 
aren't deserved. You know, go to the wrong people, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, here in, <coughs> in an edit, um, there was Amazing Journey, the, the film about the Who. It's one of the latest ones that you made, or? I made the, uh, the Cone film and the uh, Dylan film around the same time. Mm -hmm. Is, is The Who one of your favorites, man? Yes, absolutely. I think they're one of, one of the best rock and roll bands. Yeah, and they, they connect with the audience in a way that very few other groups do. Because the audience is part of their concert. They make, Pete Townsend thinks of the audience, of them being part of the audience and the audience being part of them which really is special in, uh, in that field. Mm -hmm. I, think it, I think it is. I think what's more important is that they recognize that that's what's happening. A lot of groups don't. And uh, I think there's always a connection, but a lot of groups don't understand it, and uh, they do. Pete Townsend especially understands it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so like the end of Tommy, is a big, what he calls an anthem, uh, and getting the whole audience to sing with them, really, or to, to be with them in, this, in the performance of the anthem. Yeah, it's really an amazing moment, I think. Mm -hmm. Very few groups have achieved that. Of, of all the musicians that you, you have filmed, um, do you have a favorite one? Mm, probably, but there's not, I don't like to go into that. No? And, and among your films, do you have a favorite? Mm, no, I think Festival was probably... I can see that that's the most unique in terms of the period and the time and what I brought to it, but I have a lot of other favorites. Uh, I did, I did a, a lot of 3D work, and. I think my major 3D film for Disney was also one of my, a favorite and hasn't been equaled since then. Mm -hmm. What do you think about uh, 3D, that's, um, uh, the films uh, that they're doing right now? Well, what I've seen, I'm disappointed, but mm -hmm. it might turn out to be good. I don't know. So far, I'm, th there's been another, you know, every so many years, 15, 20 years, there's a cycle of 3D films, and they all make the same mistakes, they, they don't think out using the medium in a creative way, they just add, them, add it to a story, you know. Mm. Have, you, have you seen Pina from Wim Wenders? No, I'm very anxious to see uh, that. He, he used 3D in, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I'd like to see it, that may be, yeah. yeah I would like I've to read about it, yeah. I'd like, like to that. see it, yes. Uh, I think it's, it's a pretty good movie, but I'm not sure about the 3D because it's Kind of weird, but well, it's 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 about dance, so it makes sense. No? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I really like to see it, but it was playing in New York at one another showing. I couldn't get to it, but I will when it opens in theaters. I hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What what's the se <clears throat> the secret for uh, shooting a live act for for filming a live concert? I mean, what's the secret? The secret? In, yeah, in terms of I don't know, maybe like. Um, what does that mean? You don't mean what's the secret? Or Is there really a secret? What, well, maybe not a secret, but but uh, what's uh, is, is there a way to to, to do it? Uh, I mean, you do it uh, some somehow. You, you uh, we can like feel the music through. Your ah, music. that's the way. But I'm I'm portraying what I feel, which is different from just recording a concert. So the difference in that sense is. I bring to it my feelings and uh, in the photography and the editing, I create a piece of work that shows my feelings. Uh, most people just think if they turn a camera on and the group is great, that, that that is what they need to do, which isn't so at all. I think it's the feel that the crew, I become part of the band when I film a band. That's the secret. Okay. Okay. If it's, it is a secret. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. <laughs>
<laughs> it's it's on record. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay. You already t told me that you you didn't see any any more documentaries in the festival, but. Anyway, uh, do you have an opinion of what uh, people is doing at this moment uh, in, in, in music documentaries? No, not really. When you say what they're doing, I mean, a lot of it is not so good and some of it is good. Is that what you mean by opinion? I don't, yeah. I don't think of things that way. I think okay. it's some things are very insightful and some aren't, you know. Some, most of it is just a record, which I don't like very much. And sometimes it's like a promo of the group, right? Right, it's or just a promo of the person making the film, you know. But I don't, I don't like that. I don't like a record. I like something unique. I, I don't do anything chronologically, even in a concert. I don't. I change the order, you know, to what I think. I'm not making a concert. I'm making a film. That's the big secret or the big difference. I don't see much of that now. I see hardly any of it. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I I haven't. I haven't been that excited by many films that I've seen right. in the documentary field recently. Uh, another thing that I, I think it's important is that in your films the audience has a a, a big role. Oh, what well, a big role! Yes. Yeah, and 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 many times the audience is like it's not there in in in, in many films. So maybe this is another. Not a big part of it. Yeah, sometimes, yes, I agree. Yeah, I try to have that feeling. If I, even if the audience isn't there, I try to feel that, this, that they're, they're part of it, right? Mm -hmm. As if I'm part of the audience, right? Mm -hmm. Right, I listen, I watch my films a lot with audiences mm -hmm. as I edit them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Marie. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Thank you all. Nice, intelligent questions. Good.